In this video, we will be taking a look at this stunning vessel. She's a 30 meter Doggers Bank 100 Custom, built by Moonen in 2013 and designed by Repack Design Studio. As well as taking a look inside this highly capable Explorer yacht, we will also be checking out her engine room and of course her bridge. So make sure that you stay tuned because you won't want to miss this. The brief given to Repack for this particular project was to have a vessel that could undertake long distance voyages with an emphasis on the communal pleasure of cruising with family and friends. Vrepak decided to fulfil the brief given to them by their client with their well-proven Doggers Bank offshore line. The result is this 30.18 meter piece of naval artwork. MY Galena, as she is now called, has a beam of 7.15 meters and a draft of 2.22 meters. She's of course a displacement motor yacht and she has a steel hull and an aluminium superstructure. This is just a quick reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel because around 83% of you who watch this will forget to. Let's see how quickly we can get to 100k subscribers. This Doggers Bank 100 Custom can sleep 6 people and also has enough space for 3 members of crew. And as you'd expect with a Dutch built and Dutch designed vessel, her interior reflects the same exceptional quality as her exterior. And talking of her interior, let us now take a look inside. The master stateroom aboard this vessel is located midships on the lower deck. This, according to the naval architect's calculations, is the most stable and thus most comfortable spot on a ship at sea. The children's cabins are conveniently situated opposite the master stateroom. This layout enables the creation of one big private family room when parents and children leave their doors open. This vessel also has an extra double cabin for lucky guests. And what better way to prepare yourself for your next idyllic port of call than having a sauna and your own gym. The cosy and inviting saloon is flanked by large windows which give breathtaking views when at anchor, alongside or underway. Huge sliding doors lead out onto the spacious cockpit that is well protected from the sun thanks to the overhang on the aft boat deck. Forward of the seating area we find a dining table separated from the lounge space by some expertly made cupboards. Note also the lighting that will help create a calm and relaxing atmosphere during evening mealtimes. Before we look at the bridge and the engine room, let us take a look at the external areas, starting with the side decks. Note how wide they are and how high the gunnels are, an essential safety feature of any vessel crossing open waters. There are also plenty of scuppers to allow seawater from big waves to flow over the side. The foredeck also benefits from lots of large scuppers, Everything here is well laid out and more importantly is clutter free. There's nothing worse when you're running around on the upper deck during berthing manoeuvres and having to avoid trip hazards, especially during bad weather conditions. I love the seating area on the port and starboard side of the access door to the Portuguese bridge. The elegant symmetry of this explorer yacht is a credit to her Dutch heritage and build quality. Let us head to the stern of this motor yacht and start with the large swim platform. Access to the cockpit is found on the starboard side. To the port of the stairs we have a watertight door that leads into the gym and on the port side we find the elevated platform and stowage for the passerelle. Up to the flybridge now where we are met with lots of space. 
We have a large table over to port behind the helm station and some more seating over to starboard. The displays on the helm station can be stowed away when not in use, helping to protect it from the elements. The two large monitors can display information from the radar and the vessel's various CCTV cameras which are dotted around the exterior for safety and security. After the flybridge we have this well laid out sun deck with jacuzzi. I cannot think of a better place to watch the sunset with a drink in your hand than being sat in here. There are also plenty of spaces to position your sun loungers for when you want to dry off from a soak. However, if, like me, you are a sun dodger, then there are also lots of shaded areas where you can seek some refuge from the sun's beating rays. After the jacuzzi, we have the boat deck. Here you will find two jet skis and a fantastic brig rib with a single outboard engine. The centre crane is used to launch and recover both the jet skis and the rib. So now we've had a look at the interior and exterior of this Explorer yacht, let us now take a look inside the wheelhouse before having a look inside the engine room. My regular viewers will already know how I feel about wheelhouses. Basically, I love them. And the wheelhouse aboard this super yacht does not disappoint. The large flat screens are perfectly laid out with three smaller digital displays separating the cluster of three screens to port from the two screens to starboard. Meanwhile on the desk of the helm we have lots of engine management displays that help ensure that the captain has all of the information they need laid out in a way that helps to ensure the rapid dissemination of critical information when taking part in complicated manoeuvres. Behind the helm station to port we have a comfortable seating area with a table while over to starboard we have a space that doubles up as an office. This area is perfect for route planning or catching up with emails when alongside or at anchor. This steel hulled Explorer Super Yacht is powered by twin Caterpillar C18 engines that can push this vessel through the water at a maximum speed of 13 knots with a cruising speed of 12 knots. She has a fuel capacity of 35,500 litres, a freshwater capacity of 8,250 litres and a grey and black water capacity of 4,598 litres. In summary, there's so much I love about this Explorer yacht. Her finish is of the highest quality that we have come to expect from Dutch boat builders and designers and her layout is perfect for long range cruising with your family or friends. Her truly yacht lines reflect her ability when it comes to sea keeping, but without compromising the luxurious feel of this vessel. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to find out more about Vreepack, then be sure to visit their website. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Don for becoming the latest member of my channel. Think of channel membership as being YouTube's answer to Patreon. If you would like to join my crew, then click on the link that will appear now on the top right hand corner of your screen. You can also find the same link in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider sending me a super thanks. Channel membership and features such as super thanks help creators like myself to focus on content creation without having to worry about the YouTube algorithm. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people will get to see it. If you would like to be the first to know when my latest videos are uploaded, then feel free to sign up for my free newsletter. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.